<laughs> Let's bring in Jim Brennan. He is with uh, Independent Inspection Services. They provide inspection services for both residential and commercial properties uh, throughout the Rochester area. Are you the guy? You are the, the guy there? I am the guy. Well, welcome to Property Source Radio. Thank you, Steve. I love the shirt. Thank you. love the look, the black look. You know, is that, is that like it. a, uh, a company it. thing? Yeah, that's the company colors. <laughs> How long have you been at it? I've been doing it for, for five years now. And uh, I, my background is mechanical contracting. I spent about almost 40 years in that. Ah. Uh, I d- used to be a licensed plumber. My expertise is HVAC in the commercial and industrial. Uh, so it transitions perfectly yeah, into it this. No, I love this. It's very nice. Yeah. What sets you apart from other uh, inspection uh, companies, would you say? And, and, and it may be that you, you know, it's all in the personal service more than anything. Well, I think uh, really what I, I encourage the buyer to do, and most of the inspections I do are for home buyers, mm-hmm. is to hang with me the two to three hours I'm going to be there, depending on the size of the house, uh, and really look at everything I'm looking at. So when they get that uh, emailed report to them the next day with the digital pictures, they know exactly what's going to be on it before they even get it. So if they see that I can't see through walls, but I'm I'm trying to figure out what's going on, that really helps them. Uh-huh. Jim, you got a nightmare story off the top of your head. You got anything that's really like stands out that says, "Wow, I can't believe I witnessed this in a home." Pat, yeah, Pat uh, loves the nightmare story. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It's Actually, so much fun. I do. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> about a year ago, I was uh, inspecting a a house in the inner city, and I made the uh, appointment for seven o'clock in the morning, and it was still in the winter time. So I got there at uh, about quarter to seven. It was still dark outside I, I guess I didn't do very good planning and uh, so I rode around the block a few times away for the the, uh, the realtor to get there finally shows up I go take my ladder off the truck I'm going to set it up on the uh, building he says I, I don't think I would do that if I were you and I said how come he said well it's a vacant house and there could be squatters in here and if, if you startle them you don't know what's going to happen to you so oh my <laughs> so I said okay uh, you know he says I've got the police on the way and they're going to oh check the God. house out before <laughs> before you put your ladder up I said, okay <laughs> so two policemen get there about uh, 5 minutes later and they go to the front door they don't go in and they, they're waiting for two more policemen for backup before they go in. And I'm oh. here, I'm going to put my ladder and you, up. And yeah, you were five right? minutes away from <laughs> walking out so, the side of the building. So you, you learn, you know, you live and you learn. Wow. But, uh, wow. It was very interesting. And there, there was nothing happened. It was fine. And I do quite a bit of city houses. And I've never had a problem. But uh, that was kind of an eye opener. Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> when, you, when you inspect city houses, do you find that the, the it, it may be impossible to generalize? But how's the workmanship in many of these old houses? Pretty good, pretty bad, no, pretty the, what? the old houses. Are it's very good workmanship. Mm-hmm. Uh, what you find is, uh, you know, you know they're, most of them aren't insulated very well. Uh, they don't have to have a, a ventilation, an attic ventilation. Uh, ha- doesn't have to be what the, the new house is yeah. well insulated has to be. Uh, so, you know, you just, uh, it's just a different story. But the workmanship is very good on the old houses. Is lead paint still a big issue? Uh, yeah, it's anything uh, painted before 1977 is going to have lead paint in it. Yeah. So if you inspect a house that is 100 years old, but if someone has moved in since the 70s, then the lead paint's not an issue? Or? Uh, lead paint is always an issue. Uh, it's going to be there. There's going to be paint over it with oh, non-lead okay. paint, but it's always under there. So if you get warrant, like at window sills where mm-hmm. they're going up and down, it's going to wear. It's going to wear. There's going to be lead paint underneath it. And that's what people do, Pat? They just paint over the Yeah, most stuff, of the time. Really? Yeah, most of the time. Yeah. It doesn't seem right. Well, nobody really pays much. I mean, nowadays, there's, there's more laws implemented yeah. for lead-based, but in the past, there's really nobody paid much attention to it. So you just recolor. Yeah, I want a different color. You put it on. No big deal. Yeah, can you Imagine trying to scrape all that paint off down to the bare yeah, surface. Would be point. horrendous in labor. Good you know? point. Good point. Um, what what kind of areas do you cover uh, around here, Jim? Uh, mainly Monroe County, but okay. I do go into the surrounding counties uh, once in a while. But uh, uh, it mainly just the suburbs here. Okay. Do you have a busier time of the year than others? Yeah, right now the last four weeks has been extremely busy. And uh, it's because, like, you know, housing. It's been spring, a, a early spring, and people and get the, the bug to start buying houses. Notice how he says, "Oh, we've been." Yeah, it's been. Busy. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. Going, we are so <laughs> great. <laughs> you can get in touch with Jim and the gang at Independent uh, Inspection Services. The best way to get me is five two zero five five seven five. That's five two zero five five seven five. And we will have a link on PropertySourceRadio.com. Mm-hmm. On your website, I get. To, I have to say, you have a pretty elaborate and impressive uh, list of credentials. Oh, thank you. You want to run down some of those? I mean, you, you, you seem to have the thumbs up from almost everybody. Well, uh, I spent, like I said, almost 40 years in the mechanical contracting business. Uh, I, I was president of a lo- the local uh, ASHRAE chapters, which is American Society of Heating, Refrigerating, Air Conditioning Engineers. 
I'm a member of ASHE, which is the American Society of Home Inspectors, uh, Better Business Bureau, Rochester Rotary Club, and the uh, Greater Rochester Association of Realtors. And Property Source Radio. You can put yes. that on there. Go <laughs> alphabetical. Go alphabetical in that one. And you said it takes how long would you guess for a standard uh, uh, A smaller house, about two hours. A larger house, about three hours. I just did a double in the city yesterday afternoon, and it took about three hours. Hmm. How about new, new, newer properties? Would you rather inspect an old property or a new property? Are, it doesn't are they matter different, to me. Different it's, problems? It's, it, I, like to, I like to do all different kind of pro- yeah. properties. It uh, keeps life interesting. I'm doing a trailer park in a couple of weeks, a couple of trailer parks, 24 trailers. Jeez, I would have never thought of that. Oh, me either. The whole park. Yeah, there's Somebody's, two different parks. Somebody from Washington, D.C. is buying them down in the southern tier. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. What do you look for there? Uh, the, wheel, the, foundation, the tires. Foundation is the biggest thing. <laughs> Flat tires. Well, you see a lot of trailers yeah. that start. Uh, you know, the, the, the foundations weren't put in right, and I, the double wide. You actually see a crack right in the middle of the trailer at, at oh. times. So they never thought they even had to be inspected. Did you? No, did not. Is that something you have to have done, or is that just an option? No, everything. Uh, all inspections everything? are an option. It's not not okay. a law for anything. Okay. So the guy buying the park actually opted to hire you guys Correct. to come in and say, "Is this okay for me, or what's wrong in here?" Yes. Okay. Perfect. That, that, yep. Sums it up. All right, the phone number again is 520-5575. If you right. want to call and talk with uh, Jimmy, going to be busy today. I know it's Saturday, and he said it's a busy time of year, but he, I'm sure he'll leave a voicemail, and you'll get back to him if you're in- interested in using the great folks at Independent Inspection Services. Their website has a link at our website at propertysourceradio.com. Anything else you want to mention before you... Uh, you really? got a whole list. I feel bad. I we probably didn't... I love <laughs> no, when people come in with lists of stuff they want to talk about. We never get to any no, of No, that's it, Steve. I guess the, uh, the, maybe you asked me earlier what maybe might differ differentiate me is uh, yeah. I do use a couple of meters that most home inspectors don't use. I test the natural gas lines in a house, uh, which most of them in this area do have natural gas, make sure there's no leaks. I hmm. test for carbon monoxide in the air, and I also have a moisture meter where there's a, a question that might be a problem with some water in the walls. Or, we all uh, need a moisture meter. So. Yes, <laughs> yes. So that's really, uh, that's <laughs> probably the differentiation, and, and the time <laughs> I take with the customers are yeah. really... To really help them out, and this is the biggest purchase of their life sure. most of the time. So we want to uh, make sure that they don't get in trouble. Jim, thanks for spending some time okay. with us. You're Thank a good you. guy. You can come back anytime you want. Thanks. So, you can, well, you can't come back next week because you're just here today. <laughs> oh, right? Okay. Love to have you back sometime. <laughs> Jim Brennan joining us, uh, and we will make way for Carlos Rodriguez. Carlos. In Your Corner is next, our weekly Saturday feature of Property Source Radio, Sports Radio 950 ESPN.